Good news tonight for Cat Islanders as government plans to conduct major infrastructural upgrades there. Member of Parliament, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip Davis, says plans are in the pipeline. The bids have just returned for the redevelopment of the New Bide Airport. We are now evaluating that. We are now re remaking all of the clinics um, for, the for the purposes of ensuring that it's ready and being able to provide all the health services that are necessary for the income for the for the implementation of national health insurance. Those works are now ongoing, and hopefully the, the signing of the contracts for the substantive work will occur within the next two weeks, and those works start. Uh, the airport work, we hopefully will, we are now evaluating the bids. Um, we, there's a lot of civil works that's gonna go along with it, and it looks like a $33 million all-in um, project and we are now looking at that for the purposes of funding and hopefully we'll sign those contracts before the end of August. Mr. Davis also noted that many jobs will be created through these ventures and the new infrastructural upgrade is also expected to boost the economy there as well. He also added that with this will be an enhanced road network from north to south Cat Island. The roads have now been repaired, they've been fixed. A lot of the seawall work has been completed. And we are now embarked on a feasibility study for, of a master plan for all of Cat Island uh, that envisions us, us putting in a, what I call a spine road in the center of the island, which will be what I call a, a, climate, a, a, a climatology project uh, to, to move the roads, uh, the, the, the main road from the seashore into the hinterland and have it from right down the middle, from Old Bight or Port Howe, straight to, to at least Artist Town. And that those studies are now in train. And the, com the Caribbean Development Bank is looking into it. And hopefully, before I'm committing office, all those things will have been happening.